YouTube, what is going on guys? What is going on? Thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos. So today we're going to be doing barber tutorials with no views. And obviously I don't mean literally, but I mean tutorials that look like they're bangers. The person's pretty consistent who's uploading. It's just underappreciated. What I try to do is find videos that have been up for a long period of time that have less than a thousand views. Or if it's short period of time, probably in the hundred range or less. So that's what I'm looking for. Just to show some love and give somebody the spark that I I wish I would have gotten when I first started. For me, it's important to do things I wish people would have done for me. Instead of having that attitude where people say, no one did it for me, so why should I do it for you? That's not the energy we're trying to have on this channel. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this reaction video, Barber Tutorials with no views. Alright guys, so this is the one that caught my attention. I'm scrolling down, I'm in the under a thousand range, and I see this one by Joy Blackwood. I've seen a couple of his videos uploaded, but this one really caught my attention. The hair texture is dope, he's gonna do the whole curl sponge thing, but the taper really stood out. And then the tattoo obviously caught my attention. I'm like, why he leave his uh, ice picks like that? Ice picks is like the pointy sideburns, at least that's what we call them here. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this video out. I'll be doing it. And I'm not gonna lie, definitely gotta comb that hair out. <laughs> Taper with a sponge top. Be sure to pick out your client's hair. He skipped all the intros. Just so you have a good canvas to work with. It's a little yellow. The color's a little yellow. I thought that was just like Photoshop for the thumbnail, but not so it's a little yellow. I would mess with the white balance a little bit or the exposure a little bit. This haircut. Looks like it's gonna come out fire. Imagine if he got the color right. That's why I like my clients, man. Go ahead and comb your hair out before you come in. Now do a zero. Cause I wanna be able to spend more time on your hair than I do. I don't wanna spend five minutes picking your hair out. Start the taper. I hope he keeps his hairline kinda natural. So you could still get a nice sharp line without bringing it up. We'll see what he does. Got that ball line on them. I like to line up before I start fading. I like that. Okay. Frame the cut, man. Frame the cut before you put the blend in. I definitely use that technique every once in a while. It's a great, great technique. Yeah, he's definitely keeping it a lot more natural. Keep your client's hairline as natural as possible. My guy. Okay, Joey. I'll work behind the ear to bring my client's hairline back to normal. Yo, see? All right, he's on it. This guy knows what he's doing. That looks so much better. Look how he did that. Blended it in. Don't no need to raise it back up. And that actually looks amazing. So he's got it. He had it closed and he's opening it up little by little. He's not really using a guideline here. Now a 116 closed. Which for the for the length like now a number 1 closed. <laughs> voiceover is definitely step by step so he didn't really need to put much guidelines because i feel like even if he did it didn't look like he had a lot of new growth right so the guidelines wouldn't show up as much this is definitely somebody who has experience because he, he's definitely skipping the, the guidelines and stuff my man's going step by step and now a number one and a half closed he's blessing him man and now one and a half with the grain. I'm at straight to the point. Thinning shears over comb and touch any dark areas just to get a good blend. That's a dope technique. Be careful with this, guys. You might hit a spot, man, where you, you mess up the entire blend. So be careful with it. Um, I'll straight razor the lineup. But if, it's a, if you master that technique, you can see the type of work you can put in, man. clean I don't know how people use big razors like that big razor handles like that I feel like it's too bulky but it's a preference thing right not saying it's wrong but I don't know how people do that me personally I need like 
I need to see the blade. And Let's now go. I will do some detail work. Before the detail work, it was ready. Now he's about to get more detail. This is what sets you apart, man. A lot of times as a barber. Detail work is very important. Just so you can get a good blend and a nice finish. And just because you detail more doesn't mean it's going to take you longer. now apply enhancements. And it was clean before the enhancements. But I just want to point out, man, just because... You spend more time detailing doesn't necessarily mean that your cuts need to take longer. A lot of times barbers are experienced, like I feel like Joey's very experienced, and he can just squeeze more detailing into the same time frame that somebody who who's a little bit newer to the industry, to the craft, who needs a lot more time just to get through the foundation of the cut. Hopefully that makes sense. Nobody can it say this cut wasn't clean for the clean up any enhancement. That thing sprays a lot at once. I prefer to have it set where it doesn't spray so much. That way I can kind of... Using my shears, I will touch any dark spots. He's very detail oriented. I'm a fan, man, already. And now I will taper in the neckline. Using the same steps as I did on the side of the temple. I wonder if he does... I know like a lot of times I'll do my haircuts like this for hair shows. Just to keep people engaged, you know, because if you go through every step at once by the time people see the finished result they might leave so you want people to get a taste of the finished results each side of the cut by doing what he did where he enhanced it lined it up and everything at one shot i do that as a platform artist when i'm at hair shows but i wonder if he does that in the shop if this is really in the order that he cuts typically in the barbershop Man, that's coming out so clean. You guys ever watch these videos and think to yourself, I would love to cut him in two weeks and see how, how my cut comes out on this exact model. You guys ever think that? Like, that would be a cool thing if YouTubers collaborated in that way. That would be dope. But obviously, the logistics of that would be damn near impossible. Now repeat the same steps to the other yeah. side. Yeah, look at him. He got to blend that side in. That side was worse than the other side. This guy's talented, man. I'm going to check out probably his recent tutorials to see if he's gotten better with the camera work. But he's got a lot of potential to blow up, especially as he does more voiceovers and more experience. He's got skills. It looked like he went blade open and closed it little by little as he went down. I could be wrong, but it looks like he switched it up a little bit on this side. The number one, number one open, one closed, it looks like. I'm going with the grain now. Put that seat cup on him. Keeping it natural. Sometimes you're not gonna get the sharpest line by, by going natural, but you'll add some longevity to the cut. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start adding a little bit of fiber to some of my videos. Not all of them. I feel like I'm pretty versatile. My, my content's pretty diverse. So every now and then I wanna add some new finishing touches. Some of my cuts will be all natural. Some of them just no drip. And then some of them will add some, some fibers. Let's bring something new to the channel. I don't think I've ever done fibers in one of my videos. That razor handle's big. <laughs> That's why clippers and tools come in all different sizes. That's why when people ask me what clippers they should get and stuff, I tell them, bro, go to a shop, go to a bar supply store that has open clippers and feel them yourself and see what's comfortable, what feels ergonomic and what you like cutting with. That's the best way because the everybody's different. pretty much finished. I'm just adding the little details here and there. Of course. A small amount of paste to the top of my client's hair. That is nice, bro. Lineup symmetrical, sharp, nice shape. Really came in clutch with the lineup right there up behind the ear. That's fire, bro. The enhancement looks a little shiny. You gotta be careful what enhancements you're, you're using. It looks a little bit shiny. I know he did fibers, but I feel like maybe he could have put a little bit more fibers. And again, I'm not, not knocking it. I haven't cut this guy's hair, so I don't know. His skin might take hair color a different way. But that's the only thing that I see besides this being a perfect cut. Taper with a sponge top. Fire. If you guys liked the video, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the like button. Very clean, bro. 
And you know what? I, I couldn't tell, but a lot of times if this was pushed back and he's trying to keep it natural like he did behind the ears, there's nothing he could really do about that. It's going to look a little bit cosmetic where this side doesn't look so cosmetic. You know what I mean? It looks nice and full. doesn't look shiny. looks matte. I think that's probably what it was on this side. Look how symmetrical and clean this is. Amazing. Let's check out the comment section, man. He doesn't have a lot of views, but what hair length is this at? And he responded, half an inch. Oh, no, he didn't respond. Somebody else did. It's about a size eight. Dope. All right, let's check out his, his channel. I'm going to hit the subscribe button because... I mess with it. He's got a lot of firework. The man is versatile. Look, he got a crappie, waves, dreads, that coarse straight hair. He got a realistic client, not the best canvas in the world, to be fair. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Yeah, quality done went up. Quality went way up. The beat is stupid. It's stupid. There go that big razor again. No offense. <laughs> But that's a blurry cut and look look how he's doing this haircut the back is not done that's how he cuts that is dope and like what i was telling you guys it's perfect if he wanted to be like a platform artist and cut at hair shows and stuff perfect to keep crowds engaged dope bro dope content look at this this is this is sad zero comments show some love guys even if you put fire emojis or something it makes somebody who's a creator who puts something like this together man this they want to feel appreciated sometimes man so guys that's joey blackwood link will be in the description below if you guys want to subscribe to him his content is the cuts are fire the cuts are fire he's versatile and i would hate for him to stop uploading because he's not getting any results because we need more versatile barbers i feel like showing their techniques with different canvases and stuff yeah guys if you find value in the videos that we just watched please do go support guys we drop daily content on my channel so i will see you guys tomorrow